All right, day 15, let's go to work. Tuesday, December 27th. Good evening. <laughs> I'll never not smirk at that. What a dumb line. Good evening, mate. Anyway. Hey, Jill, we have a new, s new Year's party this Sunday. Isn't that a bit soon? Why? Did someone famous get killed in a New Year's party? <laughs> not what I meant. No, I mean, never mind. Sure, I'm in for it. Great. And Gil? He's coming too. I mean, it's not like he has anything else to do. Hey. No, I mean, where is he? He was escorting a client of his the station. He should be back any second now. Oh, Jill's an escort now. Er, Gil. You people in your similar names, see? So, you come to the New Year's party too, Gil? I'm a little tired of the scan lines. We're, 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 we're going scan line free today. Ugh. Oh. It feels like my eyes just got, like, unbroken. Whew. So you come to the New Year's party too, Gil? It's not like I have anything else to do, so... Wait, I want to see if these... ...have different things. We're depressing people. Oh yeah, the kid from the other day. Gabby, I think he called her. Asked me to give you this. I believe it's a note. A note? Gabby? Let's see. First of all, I want to apologize for my behavior out there. Alright, that's enough. Now, I just wanted to see if everyone had different. They're not that different. No, stop that noise! Oh my god. I was still hurt by my sister's death, and it wasn't fair to take out all the stress on you, let alone blame it on you. So it feels weird to ask me to ask this of you after how I treated you, but I really want to talk to you. I want to catch up, to chat for a while, to do what you were doing with me before I lashed out. I want to understand this freedom you talked about, the fear that drove you to a fight with my sister. I'll go back to the bar on the 31st. I won't take much of your time. Joke's on you, I'll be evicted by then. If you don't want to see me after all that, I'll understand. But please, I really want to talk to you, Gabby. Wow, that girl has a big vocabulary. She always was a smart one. Hmm? 31st is written in different handwriting. That's not creepy at all. Oh yeah. She asked me, could you be here res relatively free? So I told her about the party. As soon as you say yes to the party, which might have been, not have been the best idea now that I think about it. Boss, I'm having thoughts, <laughs> thoughts about going to the party. But why? So I really don't want to face Gabby again. Now it's coming back to me, what drove me to never go back and apologize after all these years. Fear and shame. Ah, the classics. Good stuff. Shame because I know I made a hideously stupid mistake, and it's painful to face your mistakes. Fear of what they might say. With Lenore, we broke up, never broke up formally, so I was afraid that if we were to meet again, she'd break up with me. I mean, a little late on that one. I don't want Gabby to tell me she still hates me to my face. Lenore is in the right to break up with me, and Gabby is right in the right to hate me. But I don't want her to. Maybe if I never see her again, she'll never tell me that and... Jill, you idiot! Steamson, you idiot! You're thinking backwards. Didn't that letter say she wanted to understand you? If you bail out on this, she will hate you. Not only that, but you're getting a new chance here. Do you want to live the rest of your life running from another memory? Yes! Obviously. I wish there were a bit more variety. You know what? Let's not have... Um... Uh, never mind, all these are terrible. I guess let's go with Hassie Zero for one episode, just to change things up. Do you want to live the rest of your life running away from another memory? Didn't you just say to Armitage that you <laughs> hated feeling like that? Armitage? Titty hacker. <laughs> Alma, right. I don't know what happened when you fought with that girl's sister. But you have a chance to make amends. Not only that, you have us watching your back. So I want you to think about this. One day of fear or a lifetime filled with regret. Which do you pick? Can I just jump out of a window and not pick either? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I hated to feel like that. I won't run away this time. Good. Because I would have gone to your apartment and dragged you out of there if need be. Though, honestly, the whole thing about anxiety and stuff is that y you know which option is going to be better in the long term, but it's, it's not that easy. Just, you know, it's not rational. Anyway, Jill has decided to magically overcome her anxiety, so that's fine. Sometimes magical things happen. I just noticed his tie is like double wide. What? What? What is the? I guess maybe it's not a tie. Is that a? Hmm. I don't know much about men's 
fancy, terrible, uncomfortable garbage clothes. Which is, you know, what fashion is short for. That's what friends are for! Yeah. Anyways, let's start the day. Um... I don't, I don't know why I bother. I don't even know what any of these songs are. I don't think we even hear half of the songs. Because we, like, an average song is like 4 minutes, we add 12, and like, it's maybe 20 minutes per section. Whatever. Time to, yeah, the thing that we say a lot. Seriously though, it's the second time that note has stirred up such feelings in me. Second one? Two weeks ago I got another letter, letter in the mail. This one's from Lenore. Is it that envelope you took away from me in a panic? Yep. You haven't opened it? Why not open it with Gabby? You're the one facing fear, might as well face the other. Maybe. Don't push her, Chief. I'm not. I just know she's capable of doing all that. I'll go secure stuff for the party. Call me if you need anything. Keep it up, Jill. Thanks. Happy holidays! Ears. Someone's happy. We held a party for the staff and their children. You should have seen the faces of those kids receiving gifts. Nabbing that Santa suit at the last minute. The other day was totally worth it. Hmm. She's using binding. She's hiding it pretty well. Santa dresses, or Santa dresses seem to have been popular this year. I heard they were sold out in most places. That's anime as hell. There was this weird shortage of Santa suits, but luck was on my side this year. <laughs> Sorry for that outburst. Aww. Why? You look so happy. I felt happy too. You shouldn't hide your happiness. Um. Anyway, can you come over here? Can you get me a cobalt velvet, please? Sure. Cobalt velvet. Boop boop. Boop. No. I wonder. What? Is there a reset button? What did I just do? What was that? What did I do? <laughs> that happened because of something I pressed on the keyboard. <laughs> how, how am I doing this? Oh my god, it's the K button. Wait, shouldn't it be the W? Well, I guess W is already used. <laughs> so you can just summon these at any time. Let's just fill the entire screen. Ah, oh, yeah, you can. I can feel the bitrate going to hell. I should have. Oh, you can send Ws. <laughs> Wonderful. That is what the L button does. Okay, maybe that's why they didn't. Maybe they wanted these to be a secret. Eights. What is the eights? Drop a cow. Hey kids, want to die? <laughs> Oh, yes, this is the best button. This is the best button. Alright, is that all of them? Alright, that's enough of that. <laughs> um, can I do... Hmm. I wish I had no figured that out when Streamer Chan was still around so I could send stuff to her. Um, right, I was trying to find a reset button, which I don't think... I'm not sure exists. Flanders, i Party mines. Rocks. Mixed. Huh? Um, block. No. Uh, rocks. Mixed. There you go. Oh! Crap! I hope she has two different things. I have to give her that other drink. Thanks. Meeting with Sai today? She should be here in a bit. She told me she wanted to drink here, and I was coming here too. Sadly, I can't stay for long. I have some errands to run. You better order a second drink, or I have to reload that save, because I have to give her that drink. How has he been here lately? She's better. Her wounds have been healing nicely. If only she stopped scratching at her bandages so often. <laughs> Is she a dog? What about her eye? Put a collar on her. Eye? Oh. Hers. Sorry. Oh, awkward. Ahem, it'll take longer to heal, but as long as it's kept clean, there should be no problem. But to be honest, I'm more worried about her emotional wounds. She doesn't know it, but she's had depressive bouts from time to time. 
who can blame her? Her life changed completely. The job she loved no longer exists. She was used as a disposable pawn in the whole bank affair. I'm afraid we'll make her go back to her old ways. Old ways? There was a rough spot when Rot Sai was a teen. Her mom's clinic was about to close, then her biological father, who was an asshole, showed up. The teachers at her school didn't help. Sai is a slow, not a slow learner by her any means, but her way of learning stuff is different. She needed equivalence to things she knows best. Need to get a bit in her mindset. Once you get this, she's a fast learner, but the schools don't have that kind of patience. They basically branded her a failure. She even dropped out. Would have suggested a special course somewhere else, but that would have offended her. She's always been against being labeled as special or different. Anyway, Sai was totally different during that period. Pfft. Foul mouth, short fused. What were you, what, what was that pfft? What was that pfft for? Always frowning, the total opposite of what she is nowadays. From time to time, I see that old look cross her face and it scares me. Aww. You're comparing her to her teen self though. People mature. Maybe she'll show signs from time to time. I bet Sai knows better than anyone not to go back to that. Yeah, I was a totally different person as a kid, basically. Not a particularly good one, but hey. Kids suck. I was a kid. I sucked. That's fine. Everyone sucks as a kid. If you're a kid, just know that you'll suck less when you're an adult. It's fine. Maybe she'll show some times from time to time, but I bet Sai knows better not to go back to that. I hope so. Give me something cold and sweet, will you? Sure. Cold and sweet. I have to give her the thing. I'm sorry. Um. Hmm. I was told I can give it to her when she asked for something classy, though. I don't know if that's now, though. Well, I'll risk it. Cold and sweet. Uh, sweet. No? Oops, Piano Woman? No? It's not the brand, a teeny. <laughs> I, I, I said this on Twitter today, but if you wanted to do a drinking game of me playing this game, oh, wow, it's blended. You should drink every time Parker interrupts, every time I giggle at nano machines or brand teeny, and uh, every time I refuse to read one of Dorothy's lines. Here, thanks. If you want to die of alcohol poisoning, you could drink every time I forget a character's voice, but uh, it's dangerous. This is the kind of stuff Sai asked for, it. you know? Now that you mention it. So I take it Sai's family situation isn't exactly fine and dandy, huh? It's a mess they've tried to fix over time. I'm glad they've actually done it. Sai's mom had a really abusive relationship with Sai's biological father. Sadly, like many women in that situation, she just tried to justify his actions. But apparently things got pretty na nasty with Sai's mom, Miss Emmy. Got pregnant. At that point she had an epiphany, one could say. She didn't want that guy to raise her child. She finally sought help. Things weren't easy, though. Before the authorities could take him away, Miss Emmy got a serious beating from him. She still uses a cane to walk, thanks to that. She moved here. Sai was born. Started her veterinary clinic. So she, did she come back? Did he come back? He was drunk and couldn't find any drugs. He made it to the city. He caused a ruckus for a couple of days until Sai managed to scare him off. Wow. She beat him to near death three times. Reasonable. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't laugh, but... <laughs> laughing is pretty... <laughs> oh, don't worry. I laugh, too. <laughs> the dramatic irony here is delicious. The ironing is delicious. I've been wondering, can you really be so calm in the lower parts of the city? Hmm? I mean, the streets are not exactly safe. A cat boomer is sure to become a target. Well, I have my security staff with, all, with me at all times, so there's no problem. So, besides, this part of the city is comfier. Come again? Sure, uptown is cleaner and maybe more secure, but it's also too sterile. Around here, you can actually feel the warmth of the people. You feel that there's people living. Especially, I especially like going to a busy food stand. I feel like a warmth there that uptown doesn't have. 
It's also easier to talk to people. You finally came. Welcome. If you try to talk to someone in the upper part of the city, they either shrug you off or flat out ignore you. People around here are a bit wary, but they're also more likely to talk to you. Not that things aren't nice there, though. Can I get you something? I feel like having a beer. Make that two. But I just want one. <laughs> I'm asking for one for me and adding to your order. Oh, that. Right. Crap. I may have to reload this. Um... Lady Mold Beer. Oops. And a Lady Mold Beer. There you go. Thank you. Thanks! Sigh, you should have seen the kids after you left. <laughs> She's doing the thing again. They were all playing with the toys you picked. You nailed it again this year. They were all asking, Where's Sai? Where's Sai? Why did you... Why did they call you just Sai when they call me Auntie Stella? I don't look that old. <laughs> don't worry, they still like you. Sorry I had to leave, but Mom worked, o worked overtime that night and I couldn't leave her alone. What happened? Well, they were fireworks and some dog thought it'd be safe to hide in a jar. The little guy managed to get his head and paws in there before getting stuck. It was plastic so they couldn't just try to break it. It's messy. She needed someone to hold the dog while she worked. Poor fellow was scared. Well, I'm out. Oh yeah. We'll have a New Year's party this Sunday if you want to come. Sure, it's better than depressing myself with my dad's woes about the next fiscal year. I'll be here. Bye, Jill. Bye, Sai. Crap. She's gone. Careful. Please come again. You wanna come too? I'd love to. Also make up... Make up for not coming last time. That was the party. Pretty nice. We played Truth or Dare. Everyone is terrible at Truth or Dare. And you broke glasses too. And ate lots of food. Seriously, looking back, the amount of food was ridiculous compared to the amount of people who were there. Better leftovers than left hanging, don't you think? Yeah. Can I get you something? Let's try something classy. Something classy. Ooh, I want to try this. Um, I was told this was classy. The uh, Fibonacci drink. Something classy. Yep, this is the thing. Okay, so it's a classy drink. But I have to give it to Stella. Stella came in quite cheery about Sunday. This Sunday? Did you tell her about the party earlier? No, I mean the party you guys had. Oh, yeah. Well, you know her birthday is actually the 25th. Really? There's a weird story from it. There's a weird story from when she was a kid. She heard Megasanta's story and somehow she got into her head that being born on the 25th, she was a spiritual reincarnation of the original Santa. It made her start giving out gifts like crazy. She got over it. The gifting stuck to her. Spiritual reincarnation? Well, the story says the Redmond family destroyed Santa's spirit, and that Mega Christmas or Mega Santa was born as a manifestation of the Christmas spirit. She thought she was the old Santa spirit in a new body. Heh. <laughs> that girl's the delusional as the kid. Huh. Speaking of things you did when you were young, Stella mentioned you were, she was worried about you going back to your old ways. Something about a rough period when you were angry or something. Oh, that. It's sweet that she's worried. I won't go back to the old days just like that, though. Even if I face the same situation, I'm more mature, you know? I'm not a teen anymore. Expected as much. Told her as much. Hey, can you give me something bubbly? Sure. Something bubbly for a bubbly girl. Uh, bubbly is a drink. Or is it? Ooh, it's nice and expensive. Five of these on the rocks. Here you go. Bubbly, bubbly. Hey, Jill, this might seem a bit random, but do you remember the first time I came here? Yeah, you're the second white knight I've served. I remember. Why? Precisely because of that. I haven't mean to ask you that story. What was your other experience with the White Knight? If I had to put it simply, the total opposite of you. Oh? She came here as part of her work, looking for information on some case. Went through the motions, offering her drink and all that. But she came only for her job. First I thought she was just another private eye, then she showed me her badge and all. What kind of case was it? Hmm, I wouldn't know. She never told me. But she asked if I saw some people. She got pretty intense when I told her I had no idea who she, what she was talking about. I suggested she ask the vending machines outside, and, they told her the and told her that the suspect climbed on them. She got her info and left. Pretty professional, but a bit intimidating. 
So we, we don't have proper surveillance, but we do have sentient um, drink machines. Reasonable. I hope they're stocked with plenty of Hassy Zero TN, the thirst maker. She seemed pretty personally invested with the case, though. The way she lost her cool was suspicious. You seem to be pretty good at reading people, Jill. Makes me kind of jealous. Nah, I'm not good at that. It's just a coincidence that I noticed it. But you noticed it. I'm not good at reading people. Even if the clue was thrown in my face, I would be able to see it. I'm sure you can compensate that with another skill. Any particular reason you asked me about that event? Not really. I just found that the fact that I was the only other white knight you served weird. Yeah, somebody mentioned that uh, it seemed to be implied that Sai is maybe autistic or something, you know, along that spectrum, which is, I would never have guessed before this day, so I mean, I I'm not sure they do a great job at uh, implying. She's obviously slightly airheaded, but uh, she doesn't really seem lacking in the social graces and stuff. But, uh, I mean, really? Just two? Weird, I know. I spent most of my life with almost no interactions with the White Knights until I met you. It means you've had a nice life then. It sounded creepier than I thought. A bit, yeah. Well, I'm done for today. Thanks, Jill. Please come again. I'll take my break, Gil. Sure. Well, crap. I, uh, missed one opportunity for Stella. I'll just remember to go back to that save later, I guess. Uh, Alright, tune in next time, and we'll see if we can actually maybe make that rent. It's, it doesn't seem as hard as I thought, but uh, we'll see.